So are you having internet issues in your home with your devices and beyond frustrated? Yes, I am frustrated and I'm here to share with you about a product that might resolve that issue, that congestion issue that many of us face. Uh, that is with a company called Portal. Very cool device uh, that I learned about. Looking forward to uh, doing a review today. I'm gonna do an open boxing, talk more about it, and then tomorrow I'm gonna set it up and put it to the test. One of the issues today is congestion of having so many devices uh, and your internet's buffering and we're today not maximizing the way we could be using the internet and the port is supposed to be changing that. There is a lot of different uh, devices out there that can help you with your Wi-Fi connection, but you're just getting frustrated. I myself live downstairs in this townhouse and the uh, cable modem is upstairs. So I used another device that uh, seemed to help a little bit, but I still seem to have issues. And you know, you could buy all these different types of Wi-Fi devices, but you know, the problem is taking advantage of what the technology that Portal's put out there. Uh, Portal did a campaign on Kickstarter from what I've learned, and now it is available to purchase this device. You can click on the link in the description where you can read other reviews and order it. So let's go ahead and take the device out, and I'll just talk a little bit more what I've learned about Portal, and it's very interesting. Let me go ahead and put that back here. All right, that should stay put. So here we go, let's go ahead and take the product out of the box. The people behind it seem that they have a, a lot of experience uh, and really looking forward to being a game changer. So there is Portal, there is your device for your Wi-Fi. Very, very cool. And then in the box here, there's some instructions. So it just talks about powering off, instructions there, and then using the app, and then just some other information as well. Then we've got the ethernet cable there, and the power supply. Whoop, let's see if there was anything else in here. Nothing else in here. And go ahead and take that out. Okay, finally got the power adapter out of the packaging. For some reason, it uh, was hard to open up the box, but nonetheless, I got it opened up. So, by the way, on the bottom of the portal here, it does have these rubber pieces, so that keeps the portal from sliding. But you've got the DC power in, the WAN connection, four Ethernet ports, and then two USB connections. And for USB, it does use 2.0. Uh, from what I've read, they didn't go with 3.0, USB 3.0, because it interferes with the 2.4 gigahertz range. So uh, getting into more about the portal, it uses uh, the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum or the 5 gigahertz spectrum, and I'll talk about that in a moment. It's got nine interior antennas. It also has a range of 2,800 to 3,000 square feet, so you're going to get quite a bit of range. Uh, you can get um, another multiple device uses what they call mesh 2.0 technology where you can uh, have uh, up to like 6,000 square foot feet uh, with multiple devices for a couple of devices there. And uh, one of the things as far as the technology, it uses uh, a fast lanes and autopilot and it's very, very cool. So what I've got to learn and understand is with the 2.4 gigahertz technology, which is pretty standard. There is this this channel of uh, five gigahertz, or I should say the spectrum for the five gigahertz, which, uh, by the way, as I've learned, is set aside for military and commercial radar equipment, such as weather and flight. And it's for, uh, it's a special, uh, it's a separate band, uh, and they have gotten special uh, uh, approvals to use the 5 gigahertz spectrum and that is very big so imagine being on a highway and you're driving and you're having that congestion with the 5 gigahertz spectrum what that does is opens up big time for you when you're getting on the internet to avoid that congestion so you're going to be in these fast lanes on the 5 gigahertz spectrum and it's gonna autopilot where it's going to adjust between the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz spectrum. So now you are going to get the best possible connection 
for your device and for if you're watching uh, movies, videos, you're playing video games, you're surfing on the internet, it's going to make that a much better experience. And I myself am looking forward to seeing how well that really works in sharing that with you. Uh, as well, uh, this is 300 times uh, the performance of the standard router. Uh, and the company, by the way, when and we'll see when I uh, set up with the app, they're, they don't even want to know your information. So you're not going to have to log in. You're not going to have to provide an email address. It's basically, you know, installing the app, going onto the app, and then connecting. And uh, once it connects, there the O will uh, takes. I don't know. Somebody read about seven minutes that it took them to connect, but you'll see it will turn green and then you're good to go. So tomorrow I'm going to hook that up to the modem. And as far as other tech, technology and information, there's a slew of information. Be sure to click on the link in the description where you get more information. Uh, one of the things with meshing, you probably are familiar about meshing with devices uh, that I actually thought, hey, if I get multiple devices, I can mesh those devices. Uh, the traditional meshing, uh, which was shared with me, is meshing doesn't help the problem because it simply adds one or more channels that the router needs to connect to. Portal uses additional frequencies to avoid congestion by keeping users connected to their Wi-Fi at all times, especially when there are a lot of other Wi-Fi networks or devices nearby. So. That's what I can share with you uh, at this point. It's, it sounds awesome. Uh, will it work for me? Uh, for many others, it uh, seems to work well. Uh, looking forward to sharing with you once I get this set up and then obviously sharing my results of how my internet connection is and down here. Am I going to reduce the amount of buffering? Am I, when I'm on my bed, going to be able to have a good connection where it's been, you know, an up and down experience? And that congestion is a, is a, is a big problem and this seems to be able to solve many issues. So, Portal, are you going to step up for me? Well, we'll see and we'll see you when I've got it all connected up. Okay, so we're downstairs, we're going to do a speed test, and you can see the different Wi-Fi devices, although that one is no longer active, created a guest one with the portal, and then this is the Google device that I have connected to it. Uh, I have that t attached to the Ethernet connection on the portal now. Let's go ahead and go to speed test, and let's see what we do. I'll run the speed test a couple of times. And I got 52.8 download and 11.3 upload before. So this will give you an idea to see the difference. Wow, look at the speed coming in now. Wow, that's a pretty impressive. Wow, 79.2. That is very impressive down here. Uh, this is what I was doing some tests earlier, and I wasn't getting this kind of speed. So, so 11.8. So certainly the... Download speed is improved significantly 
and the upload speed has improved a little bit, but it is uh, fluctuating when I've run multiple tests. All right, so let's just dive a little bit into the Portal app. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on, so I like that intro. So first we got internet, and then it's got your IP address, the portal, so this is where all the information, separate networks, compatibility mode, beforming, turn off wireless security, edit internet settings, and firmware version. And then you have one, it shows how many devices are on there, so very cool, so it shows that. Very cool, and then one guest, and then I guess one of the devices in here in the house is connected there. So very cool. Uh, looks like there are several different options that you can do obviously here on the app, but this will give you an idea what you can do with it. Uh, and I need to learn more as far as what the advantages are of separating the networks and some of these other features. And if anybody here knows uh, some of those capabilities by if you separate it what would happen I'm not really sure and also be forming I'll have to find out from the company but at least for right now you can see what's on the app so hope this helps and then you can add a new portal with their mesh 2.0 technology and you can read more about that in the description okay so there you go there is my experience with the portal thus far uh, impressed with the product how quick and easy it is to set up as you saw there is no email address or any information about yourself the company doesn't want that information and you uh, saw in less than two minutes it was ready to go looking forward to learning more about maximizing uh, the benefits of the portal if you have any knowledge of the portal, you've been using it, please leave any comments below uh, some of the ways that I could maximize more than I'm getting uh, use out of it. Uh, when I was doing speed tests down here, I did a number of speed tests in addition to the one I showed you. So it was fluctuating, uh, but the speed tests there, clearly you can see big, big difference in what I'm able to get speed wise, especially the download speed. And if you're from the company and watching this video, please feel free to leave any comments below. I did put a link again where you can click, read other reviews, learn more about the device, and of course, order it. But from what I see thus far, I'm pleased and uh, looking forward to getting a lot of use out of this portal device. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.